What's up, you guys? It's VDX. It's time for another weekly Tekken trailer. Uh, as always, we're going to do an initial reaction, and then we'll go at half speed, frame by frame, and really dig into what the trailer has for us. It looks like we have Steve Fox. Huge anticipation coming into this trailer because counter hits are nerfed in general as a Tekken 8 philosophy. Steve is built on counter hits. Back one, one, two, one, down forward two. He can cover mids that even like or he can cover people who are ducking low with the down forward too so so many questions many top professional players have had let's check it out steve is a character i actually played to train tekken 7 um i can talk more about that later but his style fits how you need to play tekken 7 yeah little uk flags in his pants is that a blazer see he looks good in the character render he looks so strange in game. Oh my goodness. Okay, down forward two. No counter hit launch. Guard break. That might be the aggression at play. Very visible guard break. Okay, ducking forward two. Oh, that's new. That looks like a Jin hook fist. Back one, two. He's doing this like switch stance. Like his, his right foot is forward. That's completely different. <laughs> oh that's really cool that's really cool oh back one launched okay 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 so they kept that that's that's really cool i like that as a steve player i like that but back two didn't launch okay heat smash pretty sick oh that's like a a right hook that did that launch it looked like a back one knockdown did you hear that he spent meter in the throw oh running two heat dash that means running two is a heat engager. Now, this is what? I call fun. what? <laughs> oh my god. That's a knockout. <laughs> what? Steve. Oh my god. These are the fists of a champion. Steve's been hanging with Paul and Law too much. That is so corny, man. <laughs> That's a knockout. <laughs> Britishly, of course. Okay, let's look at this frame by frame. That was really funny. Um, let me put a half speed. Uh, I know you could do frame by frame, and I try to do it, but sometimes um, the buffering will mess it up. So I'm going to turn the volume down on the browser. Let's check out Steve at half speed. Okay, so pretty excited for this one, actually. Um, let me get to the right spot, first of all. Yeah, I don't know what they did to his face. People are all complaining, especially like the Steve Mains. They're like, what is this guy's face? And some angles, it's okay, but in other angles, it just looks horrible. Okay, the first move, this is a new like homing right hook high. Uh, I think we see it later in the trailer, and it does like a knockdown. It, it looks like, I can't tell if it's a launch or a knockdown. Then he has enough frames to down forward two here in counter hit. Down forward two being 16 frames, unless it's changed. So this high must be plus because that king back one is losing to the 16 frame down forward two. But it didn't launch. It does this like a uh, knockdown where king falls to his knees or to one knee and puts his hand down, right? So it's not a full launch. It's just a little knockdown. And Steve gets the um, machine gun punches out of a uh, duck forward. There we get a new little back step. Check this out. This little back step, and he does it out of standing. So this is out of neutral, right? So he does this back step. This could be his new back three. He used to just do, they call it snake charmer, or the, he like sway back, and then snake charmer comes out of it. But here, he does like multiple back steps. One big, sorry, one big back step, like a jump back. And then out of this, he gets this huge spinning, like right uppercut. It almost looks like Jin's hook fist, but it guard breaks. But he only gets a 1-1-2 one, one, out of it, so it doesn't look too scary. Here he gets the uh, full duck, extended duck, forward 2, and it looks like it does chip damage, and I don't know if it guard breaks anymore, right? They didn't show. They didn't visibly show the giant guard break animation, so maybe they took it out, right? Because usually, like there, it shows like screen cracks, right? But here it doesn't crack the screen, it just does chip damage. It does have the blue spark still. And then... 
Uh, King sidesteps here. So at first I thought it was a guard break, but King sidesteps and eats this uh, ducking forward, uh, ducking one. This is uh, extended duck two or ducking two. Big uppercut still launches. Sway right into new move. Very cool. Let's check this out. Sway right, shoulder. So sway right one, two, and then he does this spinning right hook, which he I think he did out of standing as well. And here's a new stance. So I don't know if you guys saw this, but new stance here. Uh, this might be the new technique that he's been studying that they were talking about. By the way, this right hook, you can see the animation king is in. I was staring at Steve the whole time looking at that new stance. But this animation king is in when this right hook hits is the really slow extended Tekken 7 combo. Like, it's not your combo extender, but it makes hitting the next hit in your combo easier. So they spin like this huge tornado. Steve is in his new switch stance. Huge. Uh, it looks like the electric wind hook fist from Jin. And that is his tornado. And then he does Sonic Fang. Back one, two to punish, right? They don't ballerina spin anymore, so it doesn't wall splat. But Steve is once again in this switch stance. And then he cancels into ducking. So continuing the tradition of Steve's moves, he can cancel this new switch stance into forward ducking uh, with a forward three or forward four. Does ducking one. And here, uh, King is uh, crumpling over, and Steve gets this huge string on him. Very cool. That's a new string. When it comes to how many punches I can get off, I'll never lose. And then he ratios Huarong. That was funny. This is really cool. Running two versus Skyrocket. Back one counter hit launch. Moment of celebration. That's sick. Here he does his heat burst. Two, two. That's a new string. That's a new string altogether. Um, the animation looks interesting. It works. <laughs> Forward, uh, this is uh, peekaboo forward 2 one I'm surprised they didn't show a wall combo here. I was really curious to see if he would just do the massage punches again. Okay, punishes plasma blade with black... Punishes plasma blade with back 2. Good lord, FDX. And then it doesn't launch. That is fascinating. Look at this. Normally that launches, but now it only gives him Sonic Fang, which is now a heat engager. So at least plus 14. Runs in. Down forward two, but this is his heat smash. So it remains to be seen if down forward two is homing, because they did take that out in uh, season three of Tekken 7. And uh, But the heat smashes are generally homing. So like uh, Laws, for example, fast mid, You if you try to step that, you're dead. So I'm curious to see if the heat smash Steve has functions similarly. Pretty cool heat smash too. Big fan. Wow, they are getting bodied. Here is the right hook again on counter hit. It looks like it's not a full launcher. So Steve is in the switch stance. Horong has the hand on the ground, like King did earlier in the trailer. And he does this heat engage instead of a launcher. So I'm guessing it's not a full launch. And here he spends meter twice. He spends meter on this extended ducking thing. And then when he grabs here, he spends meter there. Two things. There's the sound cue right here. I'll turn it up a little bit. And you can see the sparks around his feet. Pretty cool animation. And that looked like a two break, which is new. Steve's throw out of peekaboo was a one plus two. Out of forward ducking, it's a two throw. So this might be, this is two things. It helps people new to Steve generate pressure. And uh, it's going to be a nightmare for people defending against Steve. So <laughs> feel bad for you guys. Uh, let's see. This is running too. Yeah, okay, so he does start a run-up animation. I couldn't tell if he ran up or not. That was a fast, instant running too. Right? And it heat engages. So that just... Or it, he does the heat dash cancel, so it must be a heat engager. Forward 2-2. Two, two. So the other one, the big uppercut, must be like forward 2, down forward 2 or something. Now he's in switch stance. Electric wind hook fist. <laughs> it looks cool. It looks really cool. And then back one, back one, flicker cancel, albatross two. So here he's in flicker, and then he does albatross two. Same combo. And then this is his, is he in peekaboo here? This is his peekaboo down forward, or this is his while standing, this is his full crouch down forward two. There, so he does start in crouching. 
big launch. And then there's his rage art. His rage art, I kind of enjoyed. His voice lines are super corny. But the animation is really cool. I'm a big fan of this. It's, uh... It feels cooler than his Tekken 7 one, for sure. Um, yeah, so... Those are my thoughts on Steve. Um, one thing I did want to pull up is... Uh, Hira Malik, famous Steve player from Pakistan, did react to uh, this trailer on Twitter. He didn't put out a video, but I thought it was worth putting this out. It's too early to tell, but from what I can see, Steve is nerfed a lot. Counter hit down forward two, and back two nerfs are big. With back dash nerf and Tekken 8, you can't play the spacing game, so that leaves Steve with just back one, and that two if it is still I-13. While running two is good, also his face looks really weird. I agree with all these things. Um, it is too early to see. Um, if we take it at face value that it, all he has is his current Tekken 7 kit minus down forward two counter hit launch and back two normal launch, uh, that's big for sure. The back dash nerf is also really big because Steve is a timing counter character, right? Uh, traditionally, he could not enforce a very strong offense because he didn't have really good lows um, unless he's at the wall with the, where he steps on you, dirty boxing. However, that wasn't necessarily a weakness of Steve. It was a, it was his thing. He, it's been his thing forever, right? He doesn't attack you. He just makes it so you can't play the game. There's never a moment where you can safely retaliate against Steve. And if you try and you're wrong, you die. That is the entire Steve like metagame and quirk. And obviously it looks like they're making a change to that with the Tekken 8 philosophy of aggression. So the question remains uh how much more have they changed about him one big thing that we didn't see is his one two one string it's a 10 frame a counter hit the first three hits are all guaranteed and it's so hard to whiff punish it's so hard to duck and launch um it's basically impossible so one two one is um completely missing from the trailer and uh that is also a core part of steve's game plan um, we saw new additions to his throw game we saw this new hook fist and this new stance i'm really excited to explore the new stance um but yeah, aside from that, uh, there's a lot we still need to find out. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, and subscribe if you want to see more of these. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.